Hi, today I'm going to share with you a trick photography and special effects technique that produces beautiful images called light painting. A quick background. Light painting photography was first done as far back as 1914 by a husband and wife team named Frank and Lillian Gilbert. The technique was developed by this couple to improve work methods in factories and later became popular in 1935 when an artist by the name of Man Ray put out a series called Space Writing. Next, there would be self-taught photographer John Malai who would take this art to another level before inspiring world-renowned artist Pablo Picasso with the technique, who within one session produced one of the most famous light paintings known as Picasso Draws a Centaur. So basically, what light art is, is the use of small lights being moved across the lens of a camera while the shutter is open. You can use a number of light sources such as flashlights, match, sparklers, light pens, etc. You do need a manual camera, sorry. Though a digital one that has a manual setting is easier because you can see the results immediately. The Nikon D50 is pretty cool. I have one and you can get a good one at Amazon used for about $250. Another item you would need is a tripod for about $25, bucks, also on Amazon. Or you could just use a table so that's something that's sturdy. Now that you know what tools to use, the next thing you need to know is how to set up and select your camera settings. First thing you want to do is select the area. Next, mount your camera on the tripod or something sturdy. Set your camera dial to M using the dial circled in the image. And then next, turn the control circle to your left until the screen on top of the camera reads bulb. Five, turn your camera dial to A using the dial circled in the image and turn the control to the left until it reads 4.5. A on the dial means aperture. deals to the opening of the lens of your camera which lets the light into the camera. Next you want to turn the dial back to M and now you can turn the lights off. Press the shutter button down until it makes the sound of taking the picture. Now move your pen light or whatever light source you have chosen across the lens of the camera until you feel satisfied. Press the shutter button down again to stop taking the photo. Now look at the screen on the back to determine if you like it and if it's a keeper. If not try again. Digital doesn't cost you anything, it's not like film where you have to put the film in, take the photo, rewind it, take it to the lab, and then see what you've got. With digital, it's press the button and see what's on the back. Keep experiment. that's the main key that I can give you in this whole thing, is that you keep experimenting and before you know it, you'll be capturing awesome light paintings like these. I hope I've inspired you with the images shown, and so that you can begin doing your own light painting. But this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can learn in photography. I've been a photographer for over 15 years and recently found a book that I consider to be one of the best photography books out there. It is photography for beginners, but seasoned photographers like myself are open to many new concepts as well, which you will find in this book. If you are interested in photography for fun or to make money to impress family and friends, or to enter contests to make money or just to gain notoriety, then I recommend this book. You will learn quickly and you will have fun. So click on the link below this video to join the ranks of the many professional photographers today who use these tricks. See you on the other side.